Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but you know, that's what this life update is about because you know, life. Life was, I don't know. <laughs> life is just crazy. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Like I just wanted to make this video. Like hopefully it's five minutes or less because I talk a lot, but um, you know, I just wanted to talk about my experience in ultrasound. And as you can tell by the title, which maybe you can't tell because I don't know what I'm going to title this, but I'm not doing ultrasound anymore. And I'm not going to get into all the reasoning behind that because I don't want to discourage anyone. And, you know, everyone is different. So um, I know these videos help others and that's why I'm making it. But like sometimes people look at what you're going through and think they'll go through that also. And that's not the case. But... If you're someone like me, I would have loved to have seen a video like this prior to an ultrasound just so I know because there's a lot that you don't know until you start working. So the number one reason for me leaving is, um, you know, this happened during COVID. It was already set up bad with me graduating during 2020, during the peak of COVID. I didn't even get to finish my clinical. So that's already like red flag number one but you know we're gonna push through we're gonna make things work you know don't think about that negative stuff keep going but anyways um i lost i lost my train of thought here oh my god anyways the lighting was so bad um i think i was saying the number one reason that i left but the hospital was just draining me to be honest like it's not an environment i want to be in you know, I didn't think it was going to be that bad for me in terms of just feeling this like cloud over me every day, like walking into work and like, especially, you know, working during the peak of COVID where it's like sick patient after sick patient, like people just dying, all that stuff. And like, you're in the midst of everything. And like the protocols are all different because of COVID. Like, I don't know. There's just something about because especially when I did echo, I was scanning a lot of COVID patients and it's just like, I don't know. That's, that's like part of the reason. It's just the environment. And then the other reason is like physical, which I never saw that coming. The environment, I kind of knew, I kind of prepared myself. Obviously when you do clinicals, you can experience that. So you should get a feel of it. But like, for me, it was something I thought I could push through, but doing it day after day after day, hours after hours after hours, and being the only one, it really took a toll on me. Like, I was like, no, I can't continue like this. But the um the physical part. Oh. That's the part I'm going to tell you guys because maybe you don't know, like I didn't know. Ultrasound takes a heavy toll on your body. So all the techs told me, like during my clinicals, like they, they get massages and like certain, you know, massage therapy sessions and like other therapy sessions because you're in a certain position for extended periods of time, especially if you do echo, which is what I did um straining and straining like pushing your i don't even know how to describe it you know if you're interested having your arm over the patient if you're scanning with your right hand for echo which the heart is on the left side it's like unless you are going to have the patient turn towards you and you scan so you go on the other side to scan with your left hand which a lot of techs do that you're going to be in some pain your shoulders your wrists because you have to hold the position to get the images because echoes are clips it's not just a quick picture that you can just click, click 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 you have to hold the position make the heart beat a few times however many times the hospital has it set up for and hold it steady and the patient is breathing you're battling with their body habitus they're breathing they're moving Plus, you just trying to get a good image for this doctor. And, yeah. I don't want to get... It's just a lot. Okay? I was in pain. And they say, like, the more you do it, some people say you get used to it. Some say you don't, which is why they do 
massage therapy sessions i never got used to it i never did it for that long but i never got used to it i was in pain and then so i'm in physical pain and then i'm just like my head is like uh, I really don't like this and I'm trying every single day to go in and to just like think positively but no it just wasn't working out it just wasn't but you know it's just like nursing there are a lot of nurses that start nursing and they have to do it to realize oh this is not for me so it happens with any profession so it's like you know I'm just telling what happened with me but this is not the case with everyone my classmates have done it and they're loving their jobs some of them are loving it some are not even in ultrasound anymore either so you know different strokes for different folks like you just have to try it and see even during clinical some of you might be more in tune with yourselves and like know for sure from the right off the bat like no this is not for me you can stop it before even graduating and continuing the program other people like me unfortunately i had to like actually work for a few months to realize like wow this is not for me like i cannot like it doesn't make sense going into work every day unhappy and like that's majority of like you're spending majority of your day there majority of your life is spent at work so you need to do something well that's that's for me other people can do other things i can't other people going to work miserable i can't like that's just me so you know I'm doing something else and maybe later I'll update you guys on that, that journey. But for right now, I'm not doing ultrasound. I can always continue it. I mean, I graduated the program, but I'm not practicing ultrasound right now. So that's that. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. And, you know, I'm going to still make ultrasound videos because, I mean stuff like this will help others and like just to get you more prepared and like you know i can answer questions that some people some might some of you might be like oh you know you're feeling on the edge about something and you know i still love the program i love the profession it's a nice profession it's needed we need sonographers out there so i want to continue making those type of educational videos to help other people that know for sure this is what they want to do or even if they're in school right now like guiding them through that process so like any questions anything that i can do to help you guys since i've been through it i want to do that so i'll still make ultrasound videos but obviously you know the little day in the life videos that i wanted to make that's not gonna happen anymore but preliminary stuff and like getting in and the process like what to expect i'll make videos like that to help those of you that you know are interested um but yeah that's my little life update i'm gonna be i'm trying to come back because i've been wanting to get my channel up and going but i've just been going through it been going through it okay like it's been a rough two years one and a half to two years still currently going on for a lot of people so you know we're still just trying to like settle back down into life over here okay <laughs> but yeah so i'm trying to get back into the flow of things so we'll see how this goes cross fingers because like it's just been rough so i'm trying to like keep it pushing keep moving don't want to discourage anyone that's not the point of this video if anything is to encourage you like to just do more research um definitely look at pros and cons see if it's something you can manage just so that you don't go through a whole program for two years only to realize that it's something you don't want to do you know what i'm saying so yeah and if you're passionate about it still go for it because as i said we need sonographers in different parts of the world in different parts of the united states different parts of the world so keep at it put your head to it and you'll be good that was all for this video it was a quick life update i, I was rambling <laughs> I was rambling a bit, but I always ramble. I don't know why. I can't help myself. So I'll see you guys in my next video, which, you know, it could be a vlog. It could be um, an ultrasound video. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.